so hello guys came here and now I want to show you my new portrait which is quarter inch socket set as you can see here this is made by Etern uh, Etern is the trademark of the Huff and Coop this is German industrial company and I think that it belongs in overall to the Wirt group so guys, uh, this is, uh, as uh, I already mentioned, a uh, quarter inch socket set, which came uh, to me from England. Uh, I bought this uh, because first I have no separately uh, quarter inch socket set in my garage. And second, this is a real bargain. I uh, gave about 30 British pounds for it. And if you compare it to the online prices some of the German and the Austrian magazines they offer this set a minimum 120 euros and I think that it is very good deal for me so uh, the box here you can see uh, is uh, blue uh, this is rough finished but uh, the paint is a uh, real quality here you can see uh, the box is a uh, closed now and it is closed very securely when I shake it nothing wobbles inside and uh, it deserves uh, the respect and I think this is very good and quality too now let's open the box and see what is inside the uh, socket set contains uh, from uh, from uh, 42 from 42 uh, pieces here you can see uh, here we have uh, the shallow sockets from 4 uh, to 40 the deep well sockets four of them 8 uh, 10 uh, 11 uh, and uh, 30 uh, the uh, hex uh, bits from 3 to 8 uh, the torx bits from 10 to 40 and uh, then uh, screwdriver bits uh, here we have uh, regular Phillips uh, three sizes uh, from uh, one to three posit drive also from one to three and the flathead for 5.5 and uh, 6.5 uh, guys uh, I want to uh, say that uh, when I opened this I was uh, very surprised with the quality of this tool you can see uh, that uh, the sockets are uh, set on the foam tray. The foam tray is uh, uh, made uh, with the combination of uh, blue and uh, black foam. Uh, this is uh, very good and uh, this is uh, in the best traditions of the Etern tools. Uh, let's uh, try to review it from uh, the smallest socket. Here you can see that the smallest is uh, four millimeters in the diameter here you can see how it is made and machined every of the socket has hole here uh, Etern Germany part number CRV and the size of the socket Then if we move on and see the middle of the socket, here we can see, uh, uh, for example, the socket which is 9mm in diameter, Etern Germany, part number. Uh, also, uh, the machining is the same as uh, on the smallest one was, uh, satin finish, which is... Uh, very similar to the German tools in overall and uh, here you can see the walls and uh, the uh, machining style of the socket I think the walls are pretty pretty thick here and now uh, let's see uh, the biggest one which is 40 millimeters in the diameter here you can see it uh, I don't know guys uh, these sockets are made in Germany or not, or the Etern Germany simply uh, means the name of the manufacturer. Uh, but from the view, the quality is top here. You can see how uh, thick the walls are and also attaching point. Uh, these have enough metal 
and uh, also also I want to say that uh, I was thinking that these are the same as has it uh, 8501 uh, uh, but uh, then I checked double and I saw that has it uh, have uh, the top shine and uh, this socket is satin finished in overall and uh, I am now uh, very strongly uh, thinking that uh, these are made somewhere uh, maybe in Germany but uh, these are made by the different company uh, you know there are uh, the situations where uh, one tool maker resells uh, the production of the others uh, and uh, in this situation uh, this is exception so here also we have uh, the deep well sockets now see uh, the deep wells. Uh, as i already mentioned this is 8 uh, then this is uh, 10 11 and 30 uh, the machining is the same as it was on the shallow ones here you can see regular satin finish and uh, enough enough strong and uh, thick walls and also the machining of the sockets are um, uh, on the top is on the top because it has no any roof edges and it does not hurt you when you simply uh, take it in your hand so guys, uh, if we move on, we can see that here also we have uh, the universal joint, uh, nothing special. Uh, Etern, Germany, part number, universal joint, this uh, small joint, and uh, then we have uh, extensions. Uh, the extensions are uh, two. Uh, this is uh, the uh, shorter one, and this is the longer one. Uh, this have uh, the uh, markings here on the shaft and this have the markings here on the attaching point or on the main uh, bottom part uh, and here also uh, it is uh, the T-bar so the attachment is very secure and also it feels uh, enough quality in your hand here you can see it every of the part uh, in uh, this uh, set is marked etter in Germany don't know maybe they are made in Germany if any of you knows where this set is made or where are the parts made please uh, comment below I will be very happy to know more details about this sockets and the other pieces uh, this uh, socket contains uh, from uh, 42 pieces guys here you can see uh, the ratchet and I definitely can guarantee that this ratchet is made in Asia in Taiwan because uh, this is uh, the style many Taiwan tool makers or wrestlers offer you uh, this does not mean that this ratchet is bad but it would be better if uh, it would show you the marking like this Etern Germany and not only the laser prints here <coughs> so guys uh, the handle of the ratchet is good In combination of the black and uh, blue rubber and plastic good good handle and the ratchet has a uh, 72 teeth so this is fine uh, tooth ratchet now it operates uh, a little roughly uh, I will uh, lube it and it ha uh, has a teardrop function here so if we want to attach Uh, socket on it we can do it very easily uh, here you can see that the construction wobbles but the wobbling is not surprise for the German tools in overall every of my ghetto ratchet and uh, sockets are wobbling in this way 
so this is not a big deal for me and uh, once I want to uh, show you that and uh, share you the back track on the ratchet is pretty good but anyway this ratchet uh, separately uh, costs about 20 euros and I gave 30 British pounds for the set I think this is very good deal so guys, uh, I uh, want to mention that 10 mm shallow socket is missing. I received uh, this set in this type, but this is not a big deal. I have uh, the separate 10 uh, mm socket in my garage and I will put it here. Uh, now let's move on and see how the bits look. Uh, here is uh, the smallest hex bit. 3 millimeters, 4 millimeters in diameter, 3 millimeters in diameter. So, sorry, uh, the main shaft is the same uh, that it was on the sockets, and uh, here we can see that S2 steel bit is pressed here. Same story on the bigger one. This is uh, the shallow 8mm uh, socket and this is the hex bit, here we can see how it uh, fits inside and the tolerance and the fitment is very secure and I think that the quality it deserves is very good. Then uh, let's move on the Torx uh, sockets, uh, we uh, can uh, see here the regular Torx ones. The smallest is uh, T10 and the biggest is T40. So guys, I still am missing uh, temper, temper proof torques and I uh, need to buy them separately. The story is the same here as it was with the hex. Once uh, the shafts are the same, every of the pieces have Eton Germany markings on it and uh, the S2 still bits are pressed inside as well now we can see here the screwdriver bits here are uh, the mm, uh, Philips ones a pH uh, 1 pH 2 is here and pH 3 and also we have posi drive 1 2 and 3 it is good to have both of them in your toolbox because here you can see how uh, the regular Philips and the posi drives are different and I don't recommend to you to use uh, the uh, one on the both fasteners. It is good to have both of them in your toolbox. I'm repeating it because it is very important not to strip out the bolts. And uh, at uh, least I want to show you how uh, the uh, regular flathead socket uh, screwdriver bit uh, look here it is we have uh, the biggest which is 6.5 and uh, the smallest which is uh, 4 point here so guys uh, highly recommend to anyone who can uh, obtain uh, this set for the Bergen price go and buy this uh, this is not the promotion I pay my money for what I am buying and uh, I want simply to recommend it to you uh, also you can remove this foam tray from here and you can place it in your toolbox without the iron uh, box here and it is very good option also so this was a little video hope you enjoy uh, I want to thank you very much for supporting my channel we are uh, looking for 2000 subscribers very much uh, so stay tuned and if you like video please subscribe goodbye